What is up you guys, Matt here, Mr. Matt Darnell, and here in this video for you guys, I've got another JTAG Recycle Check tutorial for you guys. I'm going to show you how you can get your game covers to show up, uh, whether you're in the Aurora dashboard or in Freestyle Dash. So, as you can see, if I load up my games here, I do not have covers for all of my games. And if I go to Xbox 360 games, I have covers for most of them. So anyways, quick tutorial here, going to show you how you can get your uh, co game covers uh, enabled on here and how you can get all your games uh, to have covers on Freestyle Dash 3 or Aurora. This is a very easy, quick method. I'm going to show you two methods. The first one here, we're going to go to our XEX menu. Once we're in our XEX menu, we're going to go load up a uh, dash launch. Once we're in dash launch here, we're going to go to our behavior. Or, my bad, we're going to go to network here, not behavior. We're going to go down to our network options, and we're going to make sure live block is enabled, of course. You should always have that enabled, unless you're using a stealth server. If you don't know what that is, leave live block enabled. We're going to go down here to Live Strong. Make sure Live Strong is disabled here. And then we can just go ahead and save and we can back out. So once we've saved that and we're backed out here at Freestyle Dash 3 once again, we're going to go up to our settings here. And you want to go to General Settings. And you're going to want to go to your JQE 360. I'm not going to show it because I already have it set up and it would show my account and everything, of course. But you go to your jqe360.com tab here and you want to go ahead and go to xboxunity.net. There will be a link in the description below. Go ahead and create an account there and sign in here under the jqe360.com tab. Once we've signed in there, we can go ahead and back out. We'll go to content settings and next we're going to go to uh, cover downloading. You want to enable custom cover downloading, and you can set your resolution to low, medium, or high. I have mine set at high resolution. And we can go ahead and back out here. Once we're backed out, we can go to our games that don't have a cover, for example. And we can press, go to our options, and we can refresh the artwork, and it's going to go search for uh, cover art. Now, it's not going to find it for all of your homebrew applications, though for most of your Xbox 360 games, there will be a cover for them, as you can see here. Even the Xbox Live Arcade games, you're going to see covers for. And you're just going to want to refresh that, and then you'll get your covers there. Now, if there are games that it's not finding covers for automatically, or you don't want to set up an Xbox Unity account for some reason, or JQE 360 the settings on your JTAG or Reset Glitch Hack are not working for whatever reason. Sometimes they just don't work. I'm going to show you how you can manually download your cover art. Uh, so for instance, XM360 right here has a missing cover and it's homebrew, so it's not automatically going to find a cover. So I'm going to show you guys how we can manually download cover art, manually apply it. You're going to need a computer for this with a web browser. That's all you need. You can use a Chromebook, PC, Mac, Linux, does not matter, as long as you have access to a web browser. And I'll show you how we can manually download cover art and put it on our JTAG or Reset Glitch Hack Xbox 360. Alright guys, so that's the second method, and I'll see you guys on the computer. Alright guys, so now that we are on our computer here, we're just going to load up our web browser of choice and we're going to go to a website called xboxunity.net. There will be a link in the description below to this website. Uh, you do not need to create an account, uh, though you can if you would like to. You don't need to create an account though, just go to xboxunity.net. And once we're at Xbox Unity, we're just going to search for the game that we need the cover for. So in this case, I'm going to put in a cover for XEX menu. And we just start to type in the game. It'll search and it'll pull up a list of games. 
find the game that matches the cover you want. I'm going to click covers here. It's going to go ahead and load up covers. Uh, I have found that this site is a little slow uh, just because of all the content on it uh, and a database that they likely have running is slow. So don't worry if the website is slow guys. It's there. It's on their end. It's not you. So we're going to wait for the covers to load up here and you'll notice that you can uh, move through the covers here, pick and choose the one that uh, you like the best. Once you find the cover that you like, you're just going to press download here. I've already downloaded it, and we're going to save that cover to our desktop. You'll get a cover.png file, and we can go ahead and close out of Xbox Unity. So now that we have our file here, it's just our cover file, we're going to load up our web browser, and we're going to get the IP address of our Xbox 360 reset glitch hack or JTAG. We're going to type that IP address into our internet browser here of choice and we're going to go to the freestyle-3 web interface. I have a video on this and how you can configure it and everything. Link in the description below to that video. Once we're on this website here and we're signed in, we are going to go to our games list. In this case I'm going to choose homebrew and we're going to choose our game here. Click on the game title and as you can see box art we're going to go to full box art here. Press browse. We're going to go to our desktop and we're going to choose that cover.png file that we downloaded. We're going to click save details and it's going to upload your cover here. Once we have the cover uploaded, we can go ahead and exit out of the web browser here. Once we're exited out, we should have the cover loaded up on Freestyle-3. And I will see you guys back on the Xbox. Alright guys, now that we are back on our JTAG to reset glitch hack Xbox 360 here, we're just going to go to our game library, or in my case we're going to go to the homebrew library here. And once I load it up, as you can see, XEX menu no longer has a missing cover. And just like that, we fixed our missing cover issues on Freestyle-3. This does work for Aurora as well. And I hope this video helped you out, guys. As you can see, we have the full cover here. Hope this video helped you out, guys. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.